Hi, I am Cesar Santos. Do you know your palette? Are you aware that this tool is crucial for your artistic expression? The palette is a physical and metaphysical instrument that is used to achieve a particular goal. For any work to be done, first, you need to have a good, comfortable setup. Whether you are fixing the kitchen cabinets or operating on a patient or planning to go to the moon, you need to set up the tools arranged in a specific way to do that specific task to achieve the goal. Let me talk about the physical aspect of the palette first. It is a rigid, flat surface on which to put our paint. In my case, it's a wooden, oval-shaped palette with graceful curves that keeps me looking sexy in my studio in case my wife passes by and sees me painting. <laughs> its physical qualities can vary and it will definitely influence your style, the look of your painting. It starts with the palette. You can use a disposable palette. Vale, please, pass me that. These are the peel-off palettes that you can just peel away after the painting session and throw it away instead of having to clean it. I'm gonna just put it here. You can also have one of these table palettes uh, with the glass that you can set up here and paint. That way your hands are gonna be free to hold you know, the mall stick, the brushes, whatever. You're gonna have free hands, but it takes a little bit of more of the space. So if you're in a tight space, this might be a little bit in your way. You can also use a plastic palette or a ceramic palette. Even metal can be used as a palette. The color or tone of the palette is something you want to consider as well for your system or your approach of painting. For example, the white palette is more common with the contemporary styles of art. For traditional artists, the mid-tone wooden palette is the most popular. It is important to consider its physical placement, the physical aspect of the palette. For instance, here is a parallel palette this one was designed by David Kassen. The point of the parallel palette is that it will be parallel to your surface that you're going to be painting on. So you can keep it like that and the angle of the light falling on your canvas will be the same as the light falling on the palette. That way you can refer to the colors in the same way. Or maybe you'd rather use a table palette, which is great because it has a lot of space to put your paint and work on. Also, it can be receiving a different type of lighting than your canvas. So the paint might look a different way by the time you put it on your canvas, it could be a little bit different. But you get used to that, every artist chooses their style and it's a total valuable way to paint. I prefer to use this handheld wooden palette because I find it more dynamic. I can have it with me at all times. If I need to step back, I can bring the whole palette with me and look at the painting from far with all the colors in front of me. I can also put it in a parallel way to be able to receive the same lighting if I need to compare it, get it close to the painting, or I can put it on the table and paint if I need to have my hands free for, for some reason. I find that this palette has the best of all the possibilities, plus since I'm gonna be painting with my right hand, I want my left hand to also do some exercises. That way, I feel more balanced. <laughs> now that I have described most of the physical qualities of the palettes, I wanna to touch on the metaphysical aspect of my palette. As the word suggests, metaphysical, meta meaning beyond or after the physical, is the most valuable function of the physical palette. The arrangement of the palette, its color harmony, will bring existence to the idea and will be responsible for the development of your system to find your style. Since the artist will develop through a conscious decision he or she makes in accordance with the palette. All the masters we admire had a particular and personal relationship with the arrangements of their palettes. Through their palette is that they got to develop their unique and personal style, their vision, became possible because of this infrastructure that they were preparing beforehand. And that sometimes we dismiss or overlook. As you develop a conscious and in-depth relationship with your palette, 
your art will reflect that. Your art will become stronger and solid in style. Remember, your palette will become your possibilities as an artist. It will help you imagine an artistic image before it is created. Because the raw tools, the raw surface and the raw pigments are the matter, the elements of the creation. The palette is one of those tools that are consumed in the process. At the beginning, when the palette is full of new paint, it reflects on my system because my painting requires, on the beginning stages, the most amount of paint application. And as uh, the quantity of paint starts to diminish on my palette, so it does on my painting. And towards the end, when I have very little uh, paint on my palette, it's time for the glazing and toning, which require very little paint. I have described the literal aspects of the palette, but in a figurative sense, a palette is a selection of colors from the artist. And I can cover that in a future blog, but this blog was mainly to talk and encourage that love for the palette. All right, let's wrap this video up. I'll put the colors on my palette for the painting in my mind. Every time I do a vlog, I gotta finish with the rhyme. <laughs> yes.